In this lesson, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff, One Inch Man by Caius. What's going on? My name is Jared, and welcome to Beholden to the Riff, the heaviest bass channel on YouTube. Thanks for checking out the video. Let's get right into it. We are in C standard tuning. So grab your axe, tune up, and let's do this. Here's riff number one, nice and slow. Riff starts out ninth fret on the third string, then we jump to the 12th fret on the high string, pulling off to the 11th fret. From there, we go 12th fret on the second string and back to that ninth fret on third string. Here's that part. key part of this riff is to make sure that these pull-offs come through and they're nice and clean. It can be really tough after playing it a few times in a row to keep nailing it and then to be sure to bring up this note as well. Very cool. From there we go open low string, then hammer on from seven to nine on the low string and slide from seven to nine on the third string. Second time we play the riff, it starts out exactly the same. This time, instead of playing the hammer on from seven to nine on the low string, we play it from seven to nine on the second string. Here's riff number one back to back with both of those ends. Just before the vocals come in, the bass does this really cool harmony part. It starts out the same. From here, we go to the 11th fret on the second string. Very cool. And then finishes with the 9th fret on that same string. Here it is nice and slow. So we play this riff a bunch throughout the song. We do it during the intro, during the verse, verses, during the guitar solo. Uh, he'll add different fills every now and then, but I'm going to play the intro all the way through. It's like four times around, just to give you a good idea. Riff number two comes in during the chorus and really starts to push the song and drives the song forward. Starts with an open third string and a slide up to the 12th fret, so up to the octave. Next part goes second fret, same string, and slides up to the 14th fret, so another octave. This time he starts to add more rhythmic character to it, so it starts off. Then when we slide up, it's... Then we go third fret, then slide up to the 15th fret octave, this time just driving the whole time. Here's the whole thing, nice and slow. From there, it goes back into that main riff, which can be really tricky when it's up to speed. So you really got to set your focus, set the laser sights back on this ninth fret because it's... So good. That 
two minutes, 29 seconds, we really start to add some, some weight to the song and pummel the low string. It's coming out of those slides. From here, we just kind of slide on the low string down to the second fret. Really doesn't matter where you slide from because it, <laughs> we're going so fast. From the second fret, we go to the eighth fret, then seven, then five, all on the low string. and thick. Before we get into the next riff, just want to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. Your support means the world and makes all of these videos and transcriptions happen. Thank you so much. So from there, it gets pretty busy. We're gonna be doing hammer-ons from seven to nine on the third string. Then bends on the low string, seventh fret, down to the fifth fret. Second time we play it, it starts with those same hammer-ons. Then we go up an octave, slide from the ninth fret on the first string up to the 11th fret. From here on out, we're doing this thing, so get used to it now. For the first half of this part, we go back to the low string and do those same bends. We play that a few times, then the second part of the riff starts exactly the same. This time, instead of bending on the seventh fret on the low string, we're bending an octave up on the second string, ninth fret. Very cool. At the end of the first half of the riff, leading into the second half of the riff, we have this fill. Here it is a couple times nice and slow. It's all on the seventh and ninth frets on third string and the second string. the second half of the riff, we end with a similar fill, but it's a little different. Here it is nice and slow. It's so much fun to play. Really tricky to get it up to speed. So at the ending of the kind of second half of the riff, we go into a section with power chords. So it starts out with the fifth fret power chord, then we slide up to the seventh fret, then up to the eighth fret. And the strumming pattern goes. One more time. The song finishes up with this riff, so I'm gonna play the entire outro at full speed. Thanks for checking out the video. See you in the next one.